Hey, happy Thanksgiving, everybody, right here from the uh, Minnick household. Jack, how are you doing? I am fantastic. Wee -hoo! It's Thanksgiving! My God in America! Which I'm very thankful for you and our family. And that all felt kinds. like a throwaway. Well, I mean, I'm it kind of felt like more of the turkey and the stuffing and the bourbon. I'm punch. so excited for football. There's so much awesome football. Coming up, I cannot wait. It's going to be a good time. Thanksgiving is a football holiday in yes. our home. Yes. Cannot wait. What's your game you're looking forward to? You know, it doesn't even matter who's playing. It's all the background, mm -hmm. though. If Dallas gets beaten, it's a good game. Yeah, it'd be a good game. Uh, I would like to see, I can't wait to see the Giants. Michigan, oh, oh, Ohio State. Michigan, Ohio State. Can't wait for that. Uh, so the other day, I did this video about... Uh, Best non-proof bourbons, and I mentioned... You mean low-proof? What did I say? Non-proof? Non-proof. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. Well, hey, it's a thing, though. Uh, the best low-proof bourbons. And in, when I was talking about Four Roses Yellow Label, I said, this is the bourbon that I use for my punch. Um, my holiday punch. We don't really even have a name for it. That's the one I, I like to use. Did we use that one in this punch? We did not because I couldn't <laughs> Any. I don't have any. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. Well, listen. I, but anyway, so that's the, you know, bourbons and cocktails and punches are interchangeable. You don't really have to stick to one. But I just said I like, I love making cocktails with four roses. Yellow label. That's 80 proof. You don't get a lot of octane in there, but you can get a lot of flavor out of it. Instead, we use the four roses small batch in this. But anyway, um, so people were like, hey, I need that recipe. Hey, I need that recipe. And I was like, you know what? This could be a good opportunity to record something with Jack. And uh, because where we kind of got this inspiration for this, for this punch was when, we, when I was writing for Tasting Panel, which is this trade magazine. And uh, I would go around the country and interview bartenders and their use of bourbon and whiskey. And uh, we were, went to the drawing room and met with a bartender there named Charles Jolet. But uh, we have, he's been on the show before. ...of the old fashioned as well. Hey, however you want to drink, it is your cocktail. There is no wrong way to drink your cocktail. He's been on this channel before talking about how to make cocktails, and he's just an amazing bartender. Mm. Uh, actually, he's the best in the world. He's actually been labeled the best bartender in the world. Not surprising. Yeah, he won, uh, he won a big competition. He's, uh, he's awesome. Uh, anyway, so we were there, and he was making a cocktail uh, or a punch whiskey with uh, punch. a whiskey tea punch. And from that moment on, we started using, and we were really into tea at the time, which once you have kids, all the fancy things just kind of go out the window. But, but the, we are, the teapot is up there for a day. The teapot has collected day. so much dust. We need a new one. We do need a new so, one. But like in 10 years. Uh, so we got, we, we started making cocktails with tea. And I wrote articles about making cocktails with tea. It kind of became uh, an obsession of uh, tea and alcohol, which, you know, some time later they would do a study about how it's not so good to combine those two things. Well, we didn't pay attention to that. We weren't doing it for the health benefit no, anyway. No, no, you should not be drinking, drinking for your for health. health not, not at all. Don't do it. Not a doctor, a real doctor. But don't do it. Yeah. We started uh, playing around this also when I was judging a lot of cocktail contests. And we were making cocktails in the house like all the time. And there are two, uh, two spices that I really like putting in cocktails, nutmeg and cinnamon. You hear me talk about them all the time in Which, the notes. Which coincidentally are also the two we like putting into our rum punch. Coincidentally. In the summer. In the summer. Rum punch is not so much a holiday thing, but bourbon is a holiday Fourth thing. Fourth of July. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Stay tuned next year. <laughs> for the next. For the rum punch. punch. The rum punch edition of bourbon punch. <laughs> What's going on? Are we drinking this at any point? Yeah, anyway, we'll keep so, yeah but so we got, I want to talk about the ingredients. You know, we got bourbon. You typically like to have a high, high uh, proof bourbon. Every I like, time. I like to have a high rye bourbon. I do like the, I like rye punch too. Cause I think, just... yeah, but I think, I think Four Roses is the ultimate. Yeah is the ultimate uh, bourbon to make punches with because the rye really stands out. It adds like an extra layer of spice. Uh, speaking of spice, uh, I, love, um, I love using spice rum. So spice rum is the second, uh, there's three, there are three cups of bourbon in here, Four Roses Small Batch Bourbon. 
Uh, and then the next highest ingredient from an alcohol perspective is actually um, four squares, four squares uh, spiced rum. And some spice rums are really, really sweet and saturated. Those are not. Those are. There's no sugar. No sugar. In, no sugar in this punch whatsoever. Uh, I'm a big fan of spice rums that really are spice. They're basically concentrations of spice that are mixed with with rum. And I love the four square spice rum. Yeah. So that's in here. Uh, we use a basic Bigelow black tea, but back in the day, when, before we had kids, we used loose leaf. Savannah Tea Company and mm -hmm. Elmwood Inn. Some, we have some lemon juice. We have some orange we want juice. Just enough orange juice. And we have, um, you know, some of the other ingredients that we have. Uh, triple sec. So we like an orange liqueur. One of the things that's different today than when we first started making this cocktail is uh, Matilda. Matilda um, had an orange liqueur out that was was perfect. And then and and really, I do taste the difference between not having Matilda. An, well, Matilda and did you really liqueur. use triple sec? Because yeah. I thought we had agreed on Cointreau. Well, Cointreau, Cointreau, triple sec. I know, but there the is same. a difference. Triple sec would be the off would be the, kind of like the off thing. Orange liqueur, uh, I, we use Cointreau uh, on this. And there, you really do see a difference if you use like an, an off-label triple sec versus Cointreau or Grand Marnier. But we're more of a Cointreau fans yeah. than, uh, than Grand Marnier. Yeah, well Grand yes. Marnier also, they branded themselves as being highfalutin back, back, back of the house parties. Cointreau to me was like the make cocktails with this, whereas as Grand Marnier branded themselves as being delicate and, you know. It, the first club I ever went to as a real grown-up, uh, that they used Cointreau for their triple sec in their cocktails. So I think it's just that affinity for that. Yeah. But, so those are just some of the ingredients. The whole recipe, you know, I'll probably put in the, I'll put it in the description, but you also, I'll put little bars up as I'm editing this, which... I'm saying this, but they're going to be seeing it as we're as we're doing it. Right. Uh, but we don't really have a name for this punch. Whiskey tea punch. Whiskey tea punch, and it's not it's not Charles's recipe, but he definitely influenced us. Charles, yeah. Charles, it was complete improvisation. He yeah. was just like, yeah, let's do some of this, and yeah. oh, I think this would be good here. We paid no attention because you were busy taking photos, yeah. and I was just like, can I? When do I get to sample this? And by the way. I feel this like is, clove was involved somehow. Yeah, he had. Yeah, I think he had uh, clove. Yeah. On there. We don't have clove in ours. Uh, but yeah, that's basically that's basically the cocktail, and it's a punch. I originally, you know, you wanted me to uh, bourbon mix it in a bowl. No, I mean, you wanted me to mix it in the pitcher. There's too much volume in a pitcher, so I actually used a uh, punch bowl, but uh, and ladled us. Uh, some uh, some little action, garnish it with a little orange wheel. So, Ooh. oh, no, but don't let the orange wheel hit you in the face. That's what she said. That's what she said. Right, right. I will I will say though that if you are trying to get people in your family to drink this, that you may need to add some sugar to it for people yeah. who are not sophisticated oh we all the sophisticated types mm. so, i'm not i'm not and that's a big reason why i don't like cocktails cocktails no. is i hate i hate how the sugar will fill on my lips and everything but i if if you were going to you know if someone were bourbon curious i would <laughs> i would say Throw in a little bit of sugar, or if you really want to give it maybe a tropical vibe, well, maybe not tropical, but a, oh, a marzipan kind of vibe. Oh, marzipan. Uh, yeah. In all seriousness, throwing a little amaretto in there, or maybe yeah. some syrup instead of you sugar. You actually hit I, me up and said, throw some amaretto, some orgiat in there. And I was like, well, no, we're not putting that in there. I do like it. with it. If, if you have someone who's like, oh, it's not sweet enough, I need, then do that. But... I don't like the sweet. Purist, so I, right here. I make I make the punch for us. And then people can adapt as needed. Because also, I feel healthier. Switch. Not that you should drink for being healthy, but... Again, like, drinking is not healthy. Tasting, Tasting however. is fine. This is an indulgence. Enjoy responsibly, mm -hmm. et cetera, yes. et cetera. But hey, how but about hey. this is the holiday punch. Uh, so many of you requested to know. Uh, so you will find that recipe in the description as well as probably whatever 
I did in the edit, which I don't know. Maybe I did something, maybe I didn't. But at this point, you're probably like, whatever. Just, you just know. show me the... Are you guys done talking yet? Are you guys done talking? So show me the action! But uh, hey. In business. So here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Happy a, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, may your shopping adventures into the holiday season not uh, be bad. Can you try for something more inspirational? Uh, I don't know. That may felt... your shopping endeavors include bourbon. Good bourbon. Good. May your shopping endeavors include... May you find your grail. Or what, what are they? The Holy Grail? No. No. What, would, what is it people call it when they're trying to find their, like, the one bourbon that they really want? The unicorn? The dusty? Uni the unicorn, the dusty, the grail, what, the everyday sipper, whatever. Just, you know, hope We're, you get it on sale. Good luck with that. Yeah.